diagonal guard bridge might seem a lot harder than its straight version because you either need a 2 miles long mouse button to drag click for long enough, move your mouse while guard bridging, which makes it hard to concentrate on the timings, or take so much time to aim that by the time you're ready your bed is already gone. So in this video I'm gonna tell you how to make diagonal guard bridge much easier than normal guard bridge to the point where you get so consistent at it that you're gonna start doing it even if you have one life left. Firstly, go to the corner of the block, aim at the edge and focus, speed, I am speed. One winner, 42 losers, I eat losers for breakfast. Breakfast? Maybe I should have had breakfast. A little brekkie could be good for me. No, 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 stay focused. Speed. I'm faster than fast, quicker than quick. I am lightning. Hey, lightning, you ready? Oh, yeah. Lightning's ready. This is basically how it looks like from the perspective of those people who spent half the game in the F3 menu trying to get the perfect aim for Diagonal Godbridge. But what exactly is perfect aim? Let's take a look at the other options we have and meanwhile choose the clicking technique. Of course you can do it with long abuse, aiming somewhere at the middle of the block and strafing a little if you go off the rails, but to use it in game your fingers have to be in the perfect condition for drag clicking all the time and even if they are it's either gonna be slow because you'll have to slow down too much by stopping to reset your drags or you're gonna have to find the way to reset your aim or time your jumps so that you have time to move your finger across the entire button back to the beginning of it which is way too hard and even though it doesn't require you to aim or learn any timing you can't learn how to do it consistently even if you can it's not gonna be worth it there is a much easier way to do this and it is to go closer to the edge of the block and use short drag click to place two blocks at a time, something like this. What you need to know to understand this method is that the closer you get to the edge the easier it is to get the timing right because it requires shorter drags. Right now I'm aiming right at the edge as close as I can get and well I don't even need to drag click at this point I can just uh, triple click myself two blocks each time as I'm lucky enough. But you can't just stand here and got bridge for long enough because you aren't gonna be giving minecraft enough time to register your crosshair being at the right place and it's not gonna be a problem with your timings but it's gonna be that the bridging technique isn't gonna be possible it never goes forever but as you get closer to the middle the timing gets harder because it requires longer drugs to keep placing two blocks at a time it's almost like uh, i'm standing right at the middle of the block the only con of this method in compared to the long abuse one is that you're gonna have to learn a timing but it's nowhere as hard as resetting your drag click uh, or try to stop it or you got it. So here's a way to master the time as fast as possible. To do this you're either gonna need a PvP client or an auto text mod. If you don't wanna install any of those you can as well copy the commands every time. It's only not gonna be as efficient. I'm just gonna put Lunar Client as an example. So all you need to do is search for the auto text or auto key auto chat thingy in your mods folder or in your client and go to its settings and copy these comments that i left for you in the description to here and assign both of them to the same hotkey preferably one that's easy to press because you're gonna have to use it a lot and press that hotkey it's gonna teleport you to the middle of the world where you should build a column and also remove all the blocks under the column so you don't place any unnecessary blocks. Now every time you fail you're gonna be able to teleport to the same place all the blocks being cleared and perfectly aimed. Lunar client is actually being pretty slow on executing these commands because it's supposed to happen immediately. It might not seem like much but if you really want to learn the timing as fast as you can and you're gonna use Lunar Client you're gonna understand what I mean. It's making it harder to concentrate and miss the whole point of this method. You can get close to this kind of aiming in game but most people don't even consider doing it because they assume if they practice the no aim method they will soon get 100% consistent at it they won't need the other one. But what they are missing here is that as you practice you get better at aiming as well 
well and uh, at some point you're gonna get so used to it that it's gonna take you no time at all to make perfect aim for this. For example, this is all it takes for me. Don't forget to use Optifine Zoom for smooth aiming. As you can see, I even got lucky enough to get the second number after comma to zero. But there is one problem with this method that doesn't allow you to bridge forever. As you can see, in the F3 menu, the numbers that we see that represent our camera location have only one digit after the comma. But in reality, there is a huge variable with at least eight digits after the comma. And that's why if you aim at, for example, minus 135.0, you might think that your aim is perfect, but I set up my Lapimo GUI so that it displays two digits instead of just one. And we can already see that in the FG menu there is a zero after the comma, but in reality our aim is not perfect. And for example, right now it's 0.95, uh, but the F3 menu shows us that our aim is perfect. And it makes a huge difference if you're trying to guard bridge for long distances, because if you want to get the perfect aim, you have to make sure that you stay the closest to the edge of the block as you can, so that you make yourself the timing easier. And this way, if I slip off to that side, for example, let me just try to bridge for a long distance. As you can see, if... As I'm getting further, right now I didn't move my mouse at all, but my aim already moved this much closer to the edge, making it impossible for me to bridge. At this point, actually, if I aim the other coordinate better, I'm still gonna be able to do this, but uh, you get the point. It's, uh, yeah, here we go, now there's no way to bridge at all. And that's why, if you're playing on Forge, or using Mod or 5zig mod that has this add-on, having these numbers on the screen all the time, so that you don't have to open the F3 menu and see some additional numbers, is super useful. But you aren't gonna aim that precise in-game anyways, you you're only gonna use the information about the other digit that you get to see for how long you can go and if you can't install this mod, uh, the F3 menu is pretty much enough. That is, if you know the right way to aim. Because by knowing where and how exactly you need to aim, you can do it so fast that this method is gonna be incredibly useful. To do this, jump at the edge of the block, instantly aim somewhere at the middle, press F3, walk off. If you're using my pack, walk double the orange line away from the edge and if you're using a uh, 16 by 16 pack walk exactly 3.5 pixels away and for the second coordinate set it to 77.3 and this is the perfect aim that's gonna allow you to get yourself as close to the edge as possible getting the easiest timing and still wish for at least 65 blocks but you should only use it if you accidentally got the second coordinate right in between 77.3 and 77.4 what i mean by this is that as far as you set the first coordinate to 45 minus 45 135 or minus 135 depending on where you want to bridge as far as you aim just for that one coordinate if you make the other one anywhere in between 75.5 to 79.9 and you are still gonna be able to bridge for 16 blocks so if you learn how to jump while god bridging diagonally you're gonna get so used to aiming the pitch with this method that you won't need to aim it at all because you're always gonna get it right right after you jump on the block or casually in the process of aiming the yaw without putting much attention to it. All that's left being that you just have to aim one coordinate that makes you able to bridge for at least two stacks of blocks with the easiest possible timing, being able to concentrate on it, being able to pay attention to the game and being a hundred percent consistent at it, making diagonal guard bridge much easier than even normal god wish. In a way, you don't spend too much time aiming for it. All that's left is to learn how to jump. And here's a serious problem that is basically why nobody does that. When you bridge like this and you jump randomly, not only it's hard to get the timing, but sometimes after you jump, you can bridge for 8 mo more blocks instead of 16 and fall after that. And this is what makes people so confused about jumping while diagonal god bridging. After they jump, they fall in 8 blocks instead of 16 and it's so hard for them to realize that the reason they fell wasn't them messing up the drag click, but it was the jump timing. So, to prevent it, you have to make sure you jump with a delay after you place one of those pairs of blocks. 
As you can see, when I come close to the edge of the block, I jump, and after, with a little delay, when, when I'm already one block above the bridge in the air, and it allows me to reset the timings completely and place all the blocks at once, making it much easier because it doesn't require me to long drag. Also, it saves me some additional blocks because it makes it so that I spend the least amount possible to jump. If you notice that you accidentally messed up the jump timing, you can always stop and start anew. And if this happens, that you stay on the same level, it's okay, you can continue. First, it might seem a little confusing, but once you learn it, you won't have to drag any longer than normal on jumps, and besides that, you won't fall for no reason without understanding what's happening, and you will be able to get perfect aim almost immediately after you start bridging, so you won't have to worry about moving your mouse and stuff, the timing will be much easier and you won't need high CPS to do it. Speed and consistency aren't the only parameters of a good bridging technique that's gonna allow you to win at Bad Wars. It's also how much concentration it requires, because some bridging techniques are so hard that even if you can do them consistently, for example double click god bridge, you won't be able to think of anything but bridging while you're doing it, so if anyone tries to kill you, they're definitely gonna do this because you won't notice anything. And if you use this method, it won't depend on the condition of your hands, because it requires shorter drop click, and you will even be able to check the toggle perspective mode to see if someone is coming. But what about the no aim method that I've just mentioned? The thing about making the perfect aim for it is that if you're bridging for less than 40 blocks, not much can happen on the way and therefore it's not very useful because even knowing all of those stuff that I've told you, aligning just one coordinate may take too much time. And that's what we have the two other ways of doing it for. Here's how the first one works. Now as you can see, I've just installed a vanilla resource pack and as I aim right between the two sides of the block, it looks like my aim is on the right place, but as I start moving out of nowhere without moving my mouse, my aim messes up, my aim moves to some random spot. And as we see in the F3 menu, I am not actually aiming it right. And the problem is that even when I aim it at the middle, my crosshair is always gonna be at the right to the edge of the block. And it happens because the crosshair in vanilla Minecraft is actually misplaced. But if you install my resource pack where I fix that problem, not only this crosshair is gonna allow you to aim much more precisely due to the dot in the middle of it, but it's also not misplaced as in the vanilla Minecraft. Which which obviously makes your aim better overall, but besides that it creates a new method of diagonal god bridging, which is to aim right at the edge, then considering that your aim is close to perfect, meaning not perfect but much closer than you would get with the vanilla crosshair, walk away from the edge at a distance a little bigger than what you normally do, so you have just enough space to continue bridging even if you slip off. And if you do everything right, you should bridge at least a stack of blocks without having to move your mouse. But the problem with this way is that as you can see sometimes when I come right to the edge of the block, for example right now you see that my crosshair is not where it's supposed to be, but you can also see that my S key is pressed and as soon as I unpress it, see, this is ridiculous. Disabling the view bobbing settings helps with this problem a lot and makes bridging itself easier but doesn't fix it completely. And it's just one example of this bug, this is happening all the time and not only when I'm pressing buttons. And that's why there's a chance of uh, stuff like this messing up this uh, bridging method. And that's why here finally comes the true no aim diagonal god bridge method. To do it, you need to come to the edge of the block, aim in a way you move away from it. When you start bridging, this can basically only be achieved by your feeling of where you're aiming and start adjusting your aim right on the way. There are two ways of doing it. The first one is to concentrate on your crosshair and watch it be at the right distance from the edge, visually. And the second one is listening to the delay between blocks that you placed in pairs. Because the closer you get to the edge, the less the delay between those two blocks is. And the closer you are to the middle, the more time it gets to get from one block to another. So to adjust your aim, you need to memorize what the timing at the right distance that 
works with your short drags and each time you hear that you place two blocks in a row too fast you have to move your crosshair a little bit closer to the edge so you move away from it and as you get further from it and it sounds more and more like instead of placing blocks in pairs you're just trying to stay in the middle and place them by long drag move your mouse a little bit farther from the edge so you get closer to it I'm usually trying to use something in between these two methods trying to use both of them but overall this the sound delay method is uh, more helpful for me as far as my ping on the server is low enough to hear the sounds properly what's important for this this bridging technique is also easier if you have lower dpi you can make it a lot easier if you for example have a gaming mouse and use a side button to adjust your dpi to the minimum value just for this type of code bridging but it doesn't mean that it's impossible to do with high dpi it pretty much works for me with a thousand and a hundred dpi to do it with high dpi you need to apply less pressure to your mouse so it moves smoother the opposite applies to using the f3 aiming method with bloody mice if you want it to stop moving push it into the table this might sound too hard and moving your mouse while moving backwards and bridging is rarely a good idea but it is possible to master and learn how to do it consistently as far as you know the right timing for diagonal gun bridging which you can easily learn by using the f3 aim method sure aiming for some invisible line somewhere in the middle of the block might be a little confusing and uncomfortable but what if we made that line visible that's right specifically for you guys to practice this bridging method I made this resource file that basically includes the block overlay that looks like normal sandstone from my 1k pack except it has this Godbridge line at the edge of the block here's how to use it so you pick a sandstone block stand on that line and start bridging if your CPS for diagonal Godbridging is around 10 then you should aim for the blue line meaning you only click for 3 ticks this is what you're gonna need if your CPS is starting from 12 to 16 it means either blue or purple line are fine for you and if you can short drag 20 and above CPS then you can go on the pink line or even further to the middle I also recommend you to not stick to the same side for example if you always go to the right side from the edge you're gonna get used to bridging on the right side and if you're gonna have to bridge on the left side it's gonna be confusing and uncomfortable for you so what I recommend you to do is to sometimes switch sides and do it on both of them if you're using my texture pack what you need to do to switch sides is bridge to the opposite corner of the map if you need to turn and start bridging in another direction you see there's no way I can make these same blocks work for both of them what you need to do is take smooth sandstone instead of normal sandstone and do basically watching for your crosshair to always be on the line and timing placing blocks play like this for a while once you get used to it you can switch to any other pack and being already used uh, to it and knowing approximately where that line is be able to guard bridge without aiming for as far as you can that minimum distance for me to switch from doing this uh, no aim god bridge to f3 perfect aiming it is 40 blocks if i have to bridge for more than 40 blocks i use the other more consistent method but this number is purely your personal preference and it's gonna be different for every one of you the block overlay can be downloaded from my discord server by the link in the description and finally if you want to learn how to do it without drag clicking with less than 10 cps as i did in this clip all you need to do is stand a little closer to the edge now i know i said 3.5 pixels was the minimum distance but in that distance I already included the fact that our aim wasn't gonna be perfect or we were gonna slip off a little in conclusion use the f3 aim method to master the timing and for long distance bridging and use my block overlay to master the aiming for the no aiming method for short distance bridging and the last and most important tip to speed up your learning process is to have as much fun as you can.